Hello guys, welcome to Enter Climate, a leading environmental consultancy. My name is Diksha Ketani. Today in this video, I'll be talking about plastic waste processor authorization. Keep watching till the end if you want to know about this important topic in detail. So let us begin. Plastic according to plastic waste management rules 2016 is defined as a material which contain essential ingredients like a high polymer, high density polythene, vinyl, low density polythene, polypropylene, polystyrene resins and materials like polycarbonate and polybutylene terephthalate. Plastic based processor authorization is required for the plastic based processor business which involves converting plastic waste into oil industrial composition for energy. According to the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB's data, plastic accounts for 8% of solid trash. Furthermore, according to the latest figures from the Union Environment Minister India, generates approximately around 3.5 million tons of plastic garbage every year, of which only 60% is recycled. The remaining 40% on the other hand is either discarded in landfills or secluded regions or burned, both of which pose an environmental and health risk. With this much plastic generation in India, it is very important for the state authorities to encourage establishment of plastic waste recycling plants and provide authorization for the same. Let us now discuss the eligibility criteria for setting up the plastic waste processor business. There are a few points that one has to keep in mind while filing for the plastic waste processor authorization. Point 1. After the end of every financial year, plastic waste processors must submit annual returns. Point 2. Every processor must register with the board or committee as per the Plastic Waste Management Rules 2016, Provision 13 3. Point 3. Along with this, in case of the processing operation, there is a need for a properly organized sector. There is also a need for sufficient land and space for setting up operations and for workers to work comfortably. Next, we will be talking about the documents required for plastic waste processor authorization. While filing an application for plastic waste processor authorization, the processors have to submit a number of attested documents like PAN card, copy or PAN number, CIN number of the company that includes the certificate of incorporation, GST number, Aadhaar number of the authorized person or representative, PAN number of the authorized person or representative, State Pollution Control Board issued consent to establish under the Air and Prevention Control Pollution Act 1981, State Pollution Control Board issued consent to operate under the Air Prevention and Control Pollution Act 1981 and the Water Prevention and Control Pollution Act 1981. A compliance of certificate of effluent and emission requirements, treatment and disposal of hazardous waste as applicable from the respective SPCB or any competent agency is required in the event of renewal. Any other necessary information if required. Once you are done with arranging the necessary documents, check out the entire procedure for acquiring plastic waste processor authorization. The procedure for the same from the State Pollution Control Board or Pollution Control Committee is regulated by the Plastic Waste Management Act 2016. The process involves filing an application, reviewing the submitted application and finally granting the license. Let us discuss these steps in detail. Filing an application. First of all, 
the processors have to register through centralized portal of the extended producer responsibility designed and operated by the central pollution control board the processor has to then submit the attested documents submitting and reviewing application once the application for registration is submitted through the online portal it is scrutinized by the authorized person of the spcc or pcc grant of license further when the application is reviewed by the authorized personnel the registration is granted in case of no error in the application and documents submitted it is always good idea to know even about the minor details of the business you are going to start so let us help you understand the procedure followed by the plastic based processor plastic based processors liquefy and compress the collected plastic waste into hygienic disks that can be stored for a long time clean plastic waste food containing waste and other ship waste that cannot be treated in the traditional solid waste stream are processed in plastic waste processors the plastic waste processor must make the board aware of the overall amount of plastic waste processors attributed to the producers importers and brand owners also known as pibos apart from this only plastic waste processors who are registered under plastic waste management rules 2016 should provide certificates for waste processing except for the plastic used in the road construction in that case where the plastic waste is needed for the road construction the pibos shall provide a self declaration certificate in the format stipulated by the board plastic waste processors that deal with the end of life plastic packaging waste such as waste to oil waste to energy and cement cleans co processing must report on an yearly basis to the board's portal using the mandated format these entities shall ensure that plastic packaging waste is disposed of in an environmentally sound manner in accordance with relevant rules and guidelines framed by the regulatory authorities the plastic packaging waste certified provided by the registered plastic waste processors shall be in the name of registered entities as applicable based on the agreed modalities the board will design a method for issuing such a certificate on the official portal moving further let's talk about the benefits of plastic waste processor business establishing a plastic waste processor business does not need much of the capital hence it requires very low cost to establish the fuel produced with plastic waste processor is most environment sustainable than fossil fuel the business can convert useless materials as well coming to the end of the video let's just quickly discuss how can interclimate assist you in this complete legal aid for authorization interclimate provides support for all the legal aid and requirements concerning setting up your plastic based processor business support at every stage we provide comprehensive and complete assistance at every stage of your business establishment constructive licensing solutions interclimate experts are known for their accurate response we ensure that our communication with our clients is always prompt constructive and smooth so this was all about the plastic waste processor authorization in case of any queries feel free to reach us by contacting on the details below given on your screens if you found the video interesting don't forget to like and share it also do subscribe our channel for more watching more such informative videos thank you